We're going in the cave. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's so cute. everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a wonderful holiday season so far in today's vlogmas video we are heading to bamps upper hot springs to start the day usually it's more of a thing that you do like after a long day of skiing or adventuring since it's less busy in the morning according to google <laughs> and usually in the evening we're trying to hit it right when it opens at 10 a.m that's just when it opens at this point in time i'm excited to go do that and then we're gonna hope that my hair is dry <laughs> obviously I'm not gonna get it wet like I'm gonna heave it up as best I can but then we're gonna go to Johnson's Canyon and go for a nice winter hike the pictures of people hiking around there are so gorgeous so I'm excited to see like the frozen waterfalls and everything like that let's get in the car we gotta go return our skis because we went skiing yesterday they're due at 10 30 so and it's 9 16 so we better head out it's like a 30 minute drive <laughs> We are here at the start of Johnston's Canyon. Unfortunately, the upper falls are closed, but the lower falls are open. There's a sign here saying what is closed. So the hike will be last time. We got some like ice cleats to assist in our traction. Should be fun. Oh, he let go of my hand in the shot. Oh, what's that? What? The gift shop. <laughs> I thought there was a bear. Oh, don't say that. He's like, there must have been a warmer bathroom. I had to use the bathroom before we started. So I went in the like ones by the parking lot, which are basically outdoor holes and froze my literal ass off sitting down and eating the bathroom. 
So the upper falls are closed. Lower falls are where we're heading. Apparently the like cave in there is pretty cool. Tiny baby waterfalls everywhere. There's ice cold where it drips, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we're like hanging off the edge. Pretty scary. First drinks would fall through. Who's that? He's a little guy. Sometimes I think about how George Shrinks would experience things as I'm living. Is that just me? You say you don't know who George Shrinks is? No, like Sewer Little? No. The mouse? No. I'll show you later. Is it a Canadian thing? Potentially a Canadian show, I don't know. In the comments, have you seen George Shrinks? Let me know. He's hanging on for dear life. Still alive too, I think. I mean... We're going in the cave. So this is apparently not man-made, but like carved out from the water, which is cool. And you'll be able to see the falls. Let's go. Supposedly there's construction on the upper falls. We are thinking of like going because it wasn't blocked off yet, but then eventually it gets blocked off. And it's like a pretty big fine if you get caught. So we're not about to do that. But the lower falls were pretty, right? <laughs> the cave was nice. Yeah, the cave was cool to get like really close to it. So yeah, we're on our way back. At least there's something to look forward to if and when we come back. those tires they're like gonked the back one's worse but like in front you can really tell the difference Ooh, bad Ooh. <laughs> that's kind of satisfying we're kind of stuck we're not stuck we were stuck i fixed it oh. did you fix it <laughs> we're trying to get out of the parking lot okay we're moving we're grooving we're not stuck <laughs> but the tunnel mountain trek takes about an hour and a half, two hours, and it's already 3.30, and the sun's at 4.30. For ways or for? For there and back, yeah. An hour and a half to two hours?
it's gonna get dark. We should probably just like go a little and come back. So we are going to, is it zoomed in? Yes, it is. We are going to go to the Tunnel Mountain like trail, but unfortunately, because like the sun sets at like 4.30, I don't think we are gonna make it. So we are thinking maybe we'll try and get our butts up as early as possible tomorrow morning, do the trail with these like ice cleats that we've got. Cause really, I don't think you really needed it at Johnson's Canyon, at least after it snowed, I don't know. Maybe it did provide some help, but it's okay. I mean, other people on the trail had it, so I didn't feel... Maybe some days it's more icy, like if it just snowed, it was soft. When we rented them, he was like, no, 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 like it's slippery. Yeah, so we wanted to put them to use a little bit more, but we ended up at Surprise Corner Viewpoint, which was a really great view of the Fairmont Banff Springs, I'm pretty sure it's called. We tried to hit it up at the beginning of our trip. If you were watching the videos, <laughs> you will have seen. The view wasn't as great because the sun was like right in our eyeballs, but it was really nice today. Otherwise, we saw a lot of cool shit in that video, so definitely check it out. Now we're just walking through these trees on this trail. Mm. Oh, Anthony wants to vlog. Wow, look at the trees. I wonder if you can hear my snow pants swishing as I'm talking in my ass. All right, next up we are heading to Bluebird. It is a steakhouse apparently, but they have a happy hour between five and six. I think it was like weekdays. And it's in town, like in Banff. So we have to kill some time before we go to like a Christmas event later on tonight. It's like a nighttime thing, but we weren't able to get tickets until like 9.30 PM. So it's been a long day, but we did sleep in a little bit, which was nice. That's what we're doing to kill time, getting some dinner, and then eventually we'll, we'll make it there for that. Do you like yours? of Christmas spirit. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It is at the Banff administration building. I think that's also what that's called. <laughs> Apparently you pick up a lantern and then you like walk around. It's like lit sculptures, bus going by and it's free. So that makes it all the more perfect. <laughs> but we're kind of running because we're a little late. I booked an earlier time because there was some tickets available. <sighs> Originally we had 9.30. Now we have seven o'clock. <laughs> So at least we'll get done a little bit quicker because waiting till 9.30 would have been kind of a lot. So I already see it. It's really cute. I'm very excited. This is the entrance all pretty. Oh my God, that looks so slippery. I could already see how slippery it was. Oh my goodness. Wish we had those snow cleats. So there's the story and the little like light up yeah, figurines as we go down. Once upon a time, the animals received a great gift, the gift of a land protected and safe. A land where they could thrive and grow, a place of great beauty and of great power, and a place where people and animals lived in harmony. This was indeed a very special place. Flying high overhead, Owl, the guardian of the land, sensed that all was not well. It had been a hard year, and she could sense many people were tired and discouraged. With Christmas approaching, Owl decided she must do something to save the holiday season and raise the spirits. Owl decided she would seek out her many animal friends and ask them to share the gifts of their powerful spirits to help all those in need of inspiration. I'm out of breath. Can we walk slower? <laughs> we like ran here. <laughs> yeah, I feel like... It would have been fine. Yeah, also we ran too fast. Yeah, we just ate a lot. <laughs> I was so full. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Hey, these lanterns that light your way are so cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's so cute. Stars danced and twinkled in the night sky as Owl headed off to the gathering place to begin their quest. On the glowing path ahead, the animals had begun to assemble. Would they join Owl and share their beautiful or powerful gifts with the people of the land? 
Owl flew forward to greet them, hopeful and determined. Pine Martin, solitary by nature, had come together to answer Owl's call. Landing softly nearby, Owl told them of the great need in the land and her Christmas quest. Of course we will help you, said the Pine Martins all at once. Owl smiled, knowing that the curiosity and optimism of the Pine Martins were gifts that the people of the land needed now more than ever. <laughs> I absolutely loved that. It was the In Search of Christmas Spirit in Banff. They do it on select nights throughout like the season. I don't know if they do it every year or not, but if you have a chance to do it, it's totally free, at least at this point. So you just book your ticket online, pick your time slot and walk through. A little bit cold, tiny bit slippery, but not really that much. And it was great. It was so cute. I loved it. <laughs> Anthony spotted this bridge in the distance. I think he just took a photo and he wants to go over it. It's kind of cute. It's like a lit bridge. Whoa, people have walked on here. Is it people? Oh, is it people? That's a great question. It looks like people, but this is water, right? It's like a river. Yeah. Doesn't look like all the shops are open. I mean, I didn't think they would be. What time is it? Oh, this one's open. We only got a five day park pass for Banff because it ends the following day on at four o'clock. So we figured it doesn't matter. Like we're usually out by then if we want to like cook dinner. So we're just going to hit up Banff to return the cleats, the ice cleats, and then head to Emerald Lake. Is that still the plan? So far. Yeah, it's a farther drive, but that'll get us out by four o'clock. So we'll do our 
like souvenir shopping tomorrow when we return those. Anthony, you're as cool as a moose. Thank you. Yeah. Look. What is it? It's a moose mug. I love that. The hot springs. Cute. Hot springs. Yeah. We can add that to our Christmas village. This is what I kept looking up when I was looking up that event that we just went to. And I was getting confused between this Christmas oh, shop in Banff and the In Search of Christmas Spirit event. I'd love to go in this place tomorrow. Yeah.